Yo, what's up? My name is Rael, and this is how you can use discipline to build any life that you want. So before we get started here, I'm going to talk about a couple of the wins that I've had, right? So number one, I started off, this is me right here. This was my physique when I was around in a sophomore year of high school. Very little muscles in my body. I was really, I was really insecure about the way I looked. And also, here is me a couple months later. Yo, what's up? This is me editing this. So what I'm saying right here is not that this was a couple months after the video. Like, it sounds weird, but... This the clip I'm about to show you is me a couple months after I started going to the gym. I always kept that same physique, but this is me after I started going to the gym consistently. I started actually going to the gym, putting in work, and I got results. Another thing, I've always had dreams of doing stuff on social media, but I've never really seen any results and thought that that's not something that I could do. But recently, I started applying my mind and the stuff I'm going to talk about in this video to it. And in a couple of weeks, bro, I went from this to this. Like I'm almost at 10,000 followers, probably hit 10K today if everything goes right. But all this stuff is possible, not just because I got lucky or because I did anything at the right time, but just because how I chose to go about these situations. And this video right here is not going to have a bunch of flashy graphics or special edits in the video because this is different from the type of video that I used to make. Like I wanted to make something authentic, something that is just me talking to another dude behind the screen and... I want that connection to be like that. I don't want it to ever seem like I'm, a, I don't know, just trying to make this attention span because I don't care about that. I believe that if, I, what, if what someone says is valuable enough and resonates enough with people, they'll watch it. It's, I want to make, I want the content and the quality of the content to speak for itself, not how good of an editor I can become or hire. So the blueprint to doing whatever you want with discipline really only has three main topics and it's pretty simple. Find the version of yourself you want to become. Make a list of the small things you need to do every day to get there and set small goals for yourself and scale them up as you start to have wins. Now, this sounds very easy and simple, but if you don't have the results that you're looking for, be honest, have you done all these things that effectively? So I'm about to go through and break all these things down for you. So number one, you have to figure out the person that you want to become. When I was a kid, I always knew that I wanted to do social media. I wanted to be quote unquote famous. Like I wanted to do something with speaking to people. Me and I, I'll record a video like I'm doing right now, post it up, and people are going to see it and dissect that and get whatever from it. Like I wanted to do that through different, I, I guess, mediums. Like I wanted to be a funny YouTuber and I wanted to do all this other crazy stuff. But I always knew the, person, the version of myself that I wanted to become. And now when I say, give my own example, I don't want you to just be like, okay, that's what I want to do too. Yeah, that sounds right. That may be sound something that's interesting to you, but what do you actually want to do? Because just because you want to be on social media, there's a lot that comes with that. Like there's people that are always, I don't know, clowning you. There's people in real life that want to start beef with you. People talk about you. Like there's a, there's a lot that comes with this. So just because something sounds interesting doesn't necessarily mean that it's for you. Because me, I've been able to just like kind of, I don't know, I just turn off my emotions that come from the way people perceive me because I don't really care anymore. I know what I want to do and I know what I need to do to get there. So I just put my all into that. So in order to find what your thing is, it's gonna you're going to have to do a lot of self-reflection and realize what things you are good at and how what ways can you use them? Because I was I sucked at sports in high school. I was not athletic. I always had a really great frame and build. Like once I started going to the gym, like I guess I had good genetics that way, but... I was terrible at sports. I was the slowest on my track team. I played soccer for one season in second grade, and I didn't play any other sports other than that. Like, I was a very below average athlete, and I realized that just because I could think about myself being the next Steph Curry, it, it, it doesn't mean that, that that's not going to happen because I'm not playing basketball or training or anything like that. Just because you see all these other people winning at something at some high of a level, that's not the only way you can get there because just like there's – I guess basketball players are making 100 million a year. There's streamers making 100 million a year. There's podcasters making 100 million a year. There are dancers making 100 million a year. Like there's in every aspect of life, there's people winning at the highest level. And the only difference is you need to find what you can actually be good at. I know sometimes it sucks to not be able to do the things you once thought you would have been able to do or uh, you see somebody else being so much better at something and you wish you could have that experience. But what you're good at and what's what what you're naturally designed to do, that's what's gonna that's what you need to focus on. Stop wasting your time trying to be cool like everybody else. Because the only reason why I do this social media stuff is because 
uh, for all of my life, I've always been able to like give you know some good sound and advice and in, in certain situations, people be like, "Dang, bro, you should be a motivational speaker." Because that's I just how I reframe situations in my mind. And number two, like 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 okay, that's that. And my senior year of high school, I took this class called public speaking, and they and I literally got voted most likely to become a motivational speaker. I didn't even understand where that come came from. Like I didn't give no motivational speaking speeches to the class, but I was the one that got chosen for that. Why? Because people recognize that I have a way of words when I speak, like I command a room. That's what I'm good at. What are you good at? Figure out those little things. It could be anything, like the smallest, most minute thing that you know, that's the one thing you're actually decent at. That's the one thing that I, I guess you're better, better than everybody else at. That's what you need to capitalize on. Because if you keep competing with people in industries that aren't made to fit, suit you, you're never going to get the results you're looking for. When you're just sitting in your room like, oh my God, I don't think I have anything that I'm good at. That's not true. You have something that you could wake up and do every single day and just do that and you'd have the most fun. That may be video games. That may be anything, but you have something that you are great at. That's something that, every, that you can do that everybody else just quits on or that everybody else doesn't like to do. Find that. Pay attention to your life. You might have to just put your phone down for a couple hours a day and really do some thinking about yourself and what you want. Because this stuff isn't just going to naturally just hit you in the side of the face like a brick. You're going to have to go seeking for these answers. I didn't just come up with this stuff because it just, I don't know, it just came to me. I was actually thinking about, dang, what am I good at? Because I feel like I don't have anything that can set me apart from anybody else. Well, now that I have something that I'm good at and I have the results for it because I'm almost at 10,000 followers in like two weeks, I'm going to exploit this. I'm going to keep going on and on and on and become the best that I possibly can at what I'm designed to do. What, because of the life I lived, I'm good at this. You, because of the life you live, you're going to be phenomenal at something as well. You just need to figure out what you, that is for you. What advantages do you have and what areas of life do you excel at that other people don't and capitalize on it. And it's as simple as that. So once you figure out what you're good at and the person you want to become by utilizing this, you also need to realize that this is a real dream or vision, not just an, just one aspect of life that you want better. Like, oh, I want a better physique or I want more money. That stuff is just, that. There's that's too broad. You need to figure out if you could close your eyes and picture yourself as the as the version of yourself that if you could just become that right now, that's what you want to be. Hold that image in your mind. You want to be someone confident. You want to be someone that's good looking. You want to be someone that's connected, someone that's respected, someone that's attractive. You want all these traits. You need to figure out what ways you want to orchestrate your life in order to have all that stuff and have your dream purpose that you want to get to and combine that together and keep going because it's because you find your dream career and just capitalize on that. You're gonna have, you're still gonna have all these other aspects of your life that you need to improve because you don't want to just be good in one field versus the other. You don't want to just start making all this money, but still be a weak-minded person that's ugly, that's unconfident, that has a terrible physique. You want to level up and become a real, well-rounded individual because if you look at all the celebrities who've had you know big fallouts on the social media or in the media at all. It's always because they were lacking at some area in their life and they just had this great career and all that money and fame. It just it couldn't it doesn't hide the fact that you still have all this internal work to do. If you have an issue with girls and you're always chasing females and they're not giving you attention, you need to work on that and realize you need to become the one that they are attracted to. And it's not just going to happen overnight. You need to put your actual you have to put time and energy into building something amazing and let that be where you get that from. Because it doesn't matter what issues that you have, everybody has their own things going on. So I'm not gonna just be able to list off a list of 10,000 issues so every single person that watches this video gets, I guess, what they need. It's, it's the rule of think, it's the rule of thumb or the, the methodology of going about those issues that was that's what matters. Figure out what your weaknesses are and handle them. Figure out what position you wanna be in in life and handle that. Like you need to first actually do the thinking of what do I need to improve and who do I need to become? That's that's the first step. That's fundamental because if you don't know what direction you're headed in, you're just going to be doing stuff, but not really moving in any type of direction. But if you're having troubles, you know, it's, it's taking you a lot of time to figure this stuff out. Still start 
going to the gym, saving your money, start reading, start learning, start growing in every other way you possibly can until you find out what your purpose is. But you always want to be growing if this part is really difficult for you. But you have, but if you have an idea of the person you want to become and you're going to put together and you know that you need to work on all this stuff in your life, just start that process today. Don't wait till tomorrow, next week. Like Just start right now because there's a, everyone says, oh yeah, I'm going to do this one day. I'm going to get better at being, I'm going to make videos one day. I'm going to get good at editing one day. I'm going to be famous one day. What can you make today, day one of you getting to that journey? There's a difference between I'm going to do it one day, and today is day one. Because the day one is going to happen regardless because if you start. But you need to make today the day that you start. So by the time you get to two weeks from now, you already have progressed and learned some things about yourself and how difficult this journey is going to be. You really just have to start. So next up, we're going to talk about that small list of things that you need to do in order to get there. What these small things are, are habits. And what a habit is, is something you do every day in a routine in a, in a similar fashion that's hard to break. So sometimes people say biting their fingernails is a habit. Playing with their hair is a habit. A better version of a habit would be posting every day. Working out every day. Taking time to understand, taking time to be mindful about what you're experiencing and working on the internal emotions that you have and to, be, to gain emotional discipline. Stuff like that. Those are all habits, right? You need to figure out what habits you need to have to implement in order to get to your dream version of life because people don't become successful or win because they did one extreme change and they just made all this, put on all this work in a short period of time in their life has changed. People get to that level because of the small things that they do every single day that compound. And I'm gonna give you guys some free sauce right here. This is an absolute gem. There's a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. This is the best book in the world for talking, to, for just wrapping your brain about how you need to become successful. Like there's a lot of books that have this such a similar topic, but the way Atomic Habits breaks it down, I think this is the best book that every dude who's watching this video needs to read. If you don't want to buy the book, you can't afford it. If you don't like reading, th this is some more free sauce. There's this app called Musi, M-U-S-I. It's where you, I used to, when I don't have a Spotify or something like that, I'll listen, I'll play a song over there and turn my phone off and it will keep playing in the background and it's absolutely free. You just have to watch an ad every once in a while or something. But these audio books are for free online. I don't care what book you want to read. Type in whatever, whatever book, full audio book. So in this case, uh, Atomic Habits, full audio book. And it's going to pull up. It's going to be a seven hour video and it's going to be a, a voice reading through the book. You're gonna put that on Muzi, put your headphones on, turn your phone off, and just go do your exercises, walk, do your chores, whatever you gotta do, but listen and dissect and digest that information because the first read, it's not just, it's not to just, I don't know, memorize every part of the book. It's to get, become uh, exposed to the concepts of the book because there's an, you know, the 80 20 rule, like 80% of the results come from 20 of the percent of things that you do. Like, the 80-20 the rule of this is just understanding what the, uh, how fundamental a habit is and making them successful at anything. And it's going to change your mind to just think, okay, I need to go to the gym one day, but no, I need to start going to the gym and make that my habit to do every single day or on a consistent basis so over time I can have the results that I'm looking for. Like me, I want 10 million followers on Instagram, but I'm not just going to make one viral sensational video that's going to get me 10 million followers. It, that could happen. I'm not saying it's impossible. And there's probably somebody who has done that before. But if you actually want to get somewhere, you don't want to just base everything off chance. Because once you build the habit of doing something, you're going to get better. And you're going to get results and results compound. So now if I start posting two amazing videos every single day, these videos are going to get like 50, 100, 120,000 views. But before when I was doing that, I was getting like 300. I'm in a completely different position of time now. And that's what's going to happen if you start developing the habits. I had to develop the habit of posting every day, of not quitting when a video didn't want to go my when, when a video didn't go my way. You have to build that resiliency because it's these moments that are in the beginning that suck, that you're not getting where you want to be, that gives you skin thick enough to maintain it as things starts to go right. Because if I would have just started posting videos and, and I, they, I would start going viral instantly, 
I would have just had it. I would have been kind of satisfied. Like, oh, yeah, well, I don't really know what to do. I don't really think this matters. But since I was struggling for so long to make this happen and I just developed the habit of it. Now, if I don't post a video, I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot to post today. And it, it weighs on me. So that today, the first thing I did when I woke up is, OK, I have to make content. I have to make that my priority because I've been going to the gym consistently. But if I'm going to the gym and losing progress and like what's going to change my life, what's the point? So it's all about figuring out what those things you need to do every day are and implementing those in your everyday life. No matter what you want to do, there's something you're going to have to do every day to make results. Write those things down and implement them in a routine because the more you just trust in the routine, screw being disciplined, screw being consistent, just focus on the routine, that's going to become your way of thinking from now on. You're going to always be like, okay, I need to get all the things on my routine done. And that may seem kind of I guess it's boring to some people, but like that's the most freeing way to live because if you can do every all the important things you need to do, which is to get those things done and not procrastinate them and make and take all day, you can have the rest of the day to yourself to really enjoy whatever you want to do, and you'll still have made a ton of progress because you're doing the things that matter. Don't set your life in a part where you have to be hectic, working all crazy every day. You want to be disciplined by making sure you do all the things you need to do so you can still live your life because I, we're not doing all this to become to be successful just to be robots working 18 hours a day like Andrew Tate like that's stupid I don't think anybody wants to live a life like that there are people who are most more successful than him they don't work nowhere near as much so all you need to do is figure out what you want to do that's what we're, we already got that we have we already got you need to figure out the version of yourself you want to become then you need to figure out what you need to do every single day in order to get there. What habits do you need to build? And that's what we just kind of talked through right now. What are the small things that I need to keep doing for the next one, two, three, four years that is going to change my life? I'm not saying it's going to take four years to change your life because I thought it was going to take four years for me to start popping on social media. I'm starting to jump almost at 10K in three weeks. What matters is you need to just set be be uh, comfortable with doing it for that long because you want I don't want to just be successful right now I'm glad that I'm starting to have some success but I'm going to be doing this for the next four years think in that longer time frame and you won't lose because everybody just worried about the right now and making money now but if you put four years of effort into something you're never going to have to worry about money again because of how far you are along in that so just focus on that got there we got there now it's time for the last little section so lastly, you're going to have to set small goals for yourself and keep scaling them up as time goes along. And I want you to pay attention to this part because it seems very, very simple and it seemed really simple to me, but I didn't really implement it until later on in my life. And that's when things started to work out for me. So when you set your goals for yourself, look at goals as not uh, I'm successful if I do or don't hit this goal. Don't think about a goal like that. A goal is a time, like a span in time of when something happens. Like when I hit a thousand followers, that's gonna be a period of a benchmark of my entire timeline. You want to look at goals as this time, as a, as a way to measure how far along you are on your journey. Like once I hit one of my goals is 10,000 followers, I'm gonna hit that soon. That's this step of my journey. But I also got 100,000, 500,000, a million, five million. Those are all goals that I have. But whatever your goals are, you need to understand what transformation you're going to have to go into whatever life you want. I, I know I, I keep using myself as an example, and I don't want you guys to just model after me. Find your own lives, because just because it looks like I'm doing what I do over here, and that, oh, it looks like I, I want to do social media, Instagram, whatever your thing is, is what you're going to be best at. Not every single one of you watching this video are going to be good at social media. It's just not for you, and that's okay. There's something that you can do that, are, that you're 100% qualified at that I would I could never compete with you at and that's what you're going to win at focus on finding your thing I'm just going to reiterate that because I know how easy it is to just listen to people online and be like okay I'm going to do exactly what this guy does because that sounds right to me I don't want you to be like me I want you to be the best version of yourself and another reason why you want to set these small wins is because they give you momentum and confidence throughout your journey because if I didn't think to myself Okay, I'm gonna hit a thousand. I'm gonna gain five, ten followers a day, and I gain ten followers a day. That made me want to double down and keep posting because I'm actually starting to see results. And then let's say I started to gain five hundred followers a day, and now I'm getting like on a thousand followers a day. This feels good, but I don't want to plateau and stay stagnant here. I got to be like, okay, how can I get to three thousand followers a day? How can I get to five thousand followers a day? How always be? Uh, you want to always keep expanding 
what your capabilities are because you never want to just become comfortable with one area. And now you may get to a point where you're, you have the lifestyle that you want, you're getting everything you need and you don't need to just be a crazy extreme workaholic because that's 100% fine, bro. You don't want to lose your life and, lo and lose yourself in just chasing money or chasing success. Success and money and resources are a, a kind of like a tool in the tool bag for living an amazing life. But once you have a certain amount, you can do everything you want to do, but go every place, all the places you want to go. Like once you get to a certain level, then you're gonna be happy and okay and fine with it. But until then, you want to grind. But don't make the experience, don't make set yourself up to just live a miserable life because you just wanted to chase a bunch of results. You're gonna have to get to a certain point. But also, once you start hitting these goals, understand that is there any other areas of my life I could be improving in? How's my relationship with my family right now? How's my relationship with my girl? Do I even have a girl? Am I even confident enough to get a girl? Like, these are all things that you're going to have to work on in the meantime. Like, everything has to move on, like, all together. Like, I'm not only focused on social media. And I caught myself putting all my energy and effort into this. And I wasn't really getting anything out of it. So that was the wrong way for me to go. I need to have every area of my life improved, not just one. And so do you. Goals are only a time stamp. They are not where all your focus and attention should go because if I make my main mission to hit 10K followers and I'm just thinking about 10K followers every single day or I'm thinking about a Lamborghini every single day, I'm thinking about a mansion every single day, that's great that I know where I want to go, but that is that's, that doesn't serve me any purpose in accomplishing those goals because my focus and attention should be on the habits, on perfecting my craft. Those are the things that are going to make that happen. I'm gonna have to do something that makes me a million dollars. I'm gonna have to do some do something that gets me the ability to afford a Lamborghini. Like the goals are just they are aspirations. They are what you that that's how you figure out what direction in life you want to go. Even if you don't want all those goals, whatever yours are, don't make the, don't focus the attention on the goals. Focus on the process or the things that need to happen every single day in order to get yourself to those goals. If you don't do all the necessary things you need to do all every day, you will never get there. You will always be in the same spot and you will always just be dreaming and frustrated that your life isn't changing. Focus on what you need to do every day, how you can become better, what ways can you improve. Find every single way you can to be better than the version of yourself that you were yesterday and do it and commit on it and don't just wait because this stuff is literally changing my life. A year from now, man, I could probably be at 500,000 followers if I keep grinding. Like this is crazy to think about, but it's very, very true. The only reason why that's gonna happen is because I'm going to become so invested in the process and the I'm, I'm gonna become invested in getting better. That's why I'm gonna have these amazing results. Not because I'm focused on the results, but because I'm focused on better, on getting better. You're gonna live a fantastic, amazing life. Not because you're focused so much on what life you wanna live, because you're focused on how I can improve the version of life that I'm experiencing right now. And every week on this channel, I'm posting videos like this that's gonna help you and give you insight along your journey. So make sure you subscribe, you comment if this video helped you and watch another video. All of my recent videos are gonna be more sauce and I have a bunch of my old stuff still up so you can just see my, I don't know, my growth and transformation because I don't wanna be a fraud. Like this is the experience that I've had. I want you guys to really see me for who I really am and the things that I like to do and also get the sauce that I have. So yeah, be sure to check out my channel, watch a bunch of videos if you want to and really, really invest with your boy because I'm investing in you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.